Hi guys, welcome to another edition of F1 Podcast. Uh, Pep, we find ourselves in Turkey this weekend, one of, uh, I think uh, you would agree, our favourite tracks. Um, but before we, uh, we have a little chat about Turkey and, uh, and give you our tips, uh, news to the moment, Pep, uh, I think you'd agree is great news. Formula One's going somewhere very <laughs> soon. Coming yes. back to uh, one of its uh, homes. And uh, can you enlighten us on where Formula One's going in 2012? Finally, we're back to America. Uh, we already have the race in Canada and North America, but we've got a, an American Grand Prix finally again, Max, yes. which is great news. I mean, Ferrari have been saying, uh, Luca de Montezomolo has been saying that it's one of their biggest markets, and it's one of the biggest markets for Formula One. We, we should be in America. It's ridiculous in the last few years that we haven't had a race in America, yep. and I'm so pleased, I'm stoked, Max, that it's back in America. No, I couldn't, couldn't agree with you anymore. Uh, totally concur with what you've said. Um, we're talking about one of the biggest markets for motorsport in the world. Yeah. And Formula One just simply isn't there. It doesn't rate it. It doesn't cut it uh, in, in America or hasn't for the last number of years. Yeah. And I think it's terrific that we're going back to the United States. I might add to an area that I certainly didn't... Uh, See coming, mate. Um, where, where, where's Formula One going in uh, in the United States? <laughs> Austin, Texas, mate. Yeehaw! <laughs> after all, of the, after all the months of conjecture about New York and New York State, um, Bernie's pulled the rabbit out of the hat, Max, and he said that it's going to be in Austin, Texas, and his mate who's got the right, rights to the Grand Prix is building a circuit from scratch. There's Purpose no, built? Yep, there's yep. no circuit there right now. They're talking about several hundred million dollars to build a, a brand new circuit. And, uh, you know, going back to your previous point, mate, um, it's a world championship. Mm. Uh, if you're going to have a world championship, you need a race in America. Yep. Um, am I surprised that it's Austin Tech? Texas? Absolutely. I was pretty surprised. I was stunned. I was uh, reading about uh, some of the circuits in, in New York State and, uh, mm. you know, and and a couple of days later, yeah. those guys were, were pretty confident, but um, yeah, for sure. a couple of days later we're, we're going to Austin, Texas in 2012, mate. Cha-ching! Someone said, Bernie, here's some cash-ish for you, <laughs> and Bernie's gone, you've got it. Yeah, Austin, it's yours. Texas. Absolutely, yeah, and I think that's great. And I, I, I think all of our friend, our American friends uh, on F One podcast would be uh, cheering. Um, I mean, America is a huge, huge joint, as you know. Uh, but I'd like to think that uh, all of our Amer American friends will get down to Austin, Texas, in uh, twenty twelve and uh, and support their Grand Prix. And again, we're starting from scratch. It's great. We're not having a modified Indianapolis. I was never a massive fan of, uh, of the Indianapolis Formula One circuit, I must say. Uh, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to what they come up with uh, in Texas, mate. But I've got some sort of scary news on that note. Who's, who's building the circuit, mate? I have no idea. Let's hope it's not Herman the German. <laughs> I mean, Herman Tilton. <laughs> oh, yeah, Herman's designing the circuit. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I don't know who's building it. But, uh, but uh, yeah. Herman the German is designing the circuit. And this will be, I think, his 10th circuit there's there's nine at the moment when you include korea on the calendar so this is the 10th <laughs> one for let's hope Georgia. south korea still holds their uh, grand prix this year mate with all the uh, <laughs> shenanigans going over there on the peninsula at the moment uh, fingers crossed but i'm thrilled for our american friends and i'm thrilled for formula one that we're going uh, stateside again uh, and we're lucky really when you think about it mate because we're going back to north america this year to one of our favorite circuits uh the circuit de gilles villeneuve uh, in, mm. uh, in in Canada, eh? Yeah, the next Grand Prix after Turkey. So we've got Canada. And yeah. I, you know, I've got nothing against uh, Herman Tilke as, as an individual, but I, no. I tell you what, they really need to give someone else a go, Max. They, they, surely there's other people out there who can design circuits besides Tilke. So all you budding circuit designers out there in F1 podcast land, That's like me. Pep, yeah. um, you know, send us your uh, schematics for a, <laughs> uh, for a circuit in Texas and we'll... Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll put them up. But I, I think it's terrific. And, uh, you know, motorsport is alive and well in, uh, in, in the United States, as we know. But uh, I think Formula One needs to go to, uh, to the United States. And let's hope that F1 can take a leaf out of the uh, NASCAR book, dare I say it. Oh, Max, don't and, say that. And open up <laughs> the team to a little bit more uh, audience participation. Um, let's let let's just hope so. A little bit more autograph signing, or a little bit more exposure for the um, 
uh, for the fans to their uh, Formula One heroes. And I have to say, NASCAR do that really well. F1 doesn't. And let's hope, going back to uh, the United States, that uh, we, we can do something to, uh, to get our, our friends over there some more access to the drivers. Everything's big in Texas. You know it, baby. <laughs> All right, guys, let's move on to the next Grand Prix. It's Saturday afternoon here in Sydney, and we've got qualifying this evening for the Turkish Grand Prix at Istanbul, Istanbul mm -hmm. Park. Istanbul Park. Mm. And so Max and I talk a little bit about that and also give our tips, but we haven't had qualifying yet. We've had two practice sessions. We have. And the McLarens have done extremely well. The Red Bulls have done well. Even Mercedes with Schumacher and Rosberg have done pretty well. They're, they're up there. Not too bad. And uh, I was watching live practice on the internet last night, Max. I was loving it. It was good to see the guys running around the circuit. And we'll see you soon for the next video. Catch you guys. Bye. See ya.